Oh, let's eat. Okay. Hey, right. what's for dinner? Oh, some bok choy soup. You want some? Yes, I do. But right. first, let me set the mood. Whoa. Whoa. I usually really like a noir. Well, I like it dreamy. What? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You know, you know what? I really like it in an action movie. Oh, I like this! Hi everyone, welcome to What's For Dinner. My name is Gordo and this is my dad. Hello, everybody. He was a chef and restaurant owner for more than 20 years and he's here to teach us how to cook simple Chinese dishes at home. So if you want to learn more Chinese recipes, please like and subscribe to our channel. Anyways, today we are making easy bok choy soup that will warm up the holidays. Bok choy soup is something that my parents and grandparents would make that would always warm us up on a cold day or a light refreshing soup to drink on a hot day. If there was ever a best Chinese comfort food, it would be this. So to get started, we will need bok choy, turkey gizzard for that umami flavor boost, dried dates, dried almonds, corn, carrot, and some pork shoulder. To start the prep, just cut the corn into three large chunks or smash it until you can get the knife through. Corn is definitely a lot tougher than it looks. Just listen to how hard I'm smashing it. Anyways, be careful with the corn, and you'll also cut the carrots into large bite-sized chunks as well. And for the gizzard, that can be cut into thin slices and the pork does not need to be cut up. And for the dried dates and almonds, make sure to rinse them before putting them into the soup and we're done with the prep. Now let's start getting everything together. In a large pot, fill it up with 3 fourths with cold water and turn the gas on high and wait for the water to boil. Once it starts to boil, you can add in your pork shoulder, 3 rinsed off dried dates, a handful of dried almonds, the turkey gizzards, and then add in your corn and carrots. Then we're going to leave this on medium heat and let it cook for an hour before we add the bok choy since we want it to have some texture. During this hour, keep checking on the soup periodically and if it boils violently, lower the heat down to a simmer. After an hour, you can add in your bok choy. It might look like it won't all fit in there, but you can squeeze them in and it will shrink down almost like spinach. After you put in your bok choy, cover it with a lid and let it cook on medium heat for another half an hour and it should be done. Add in salt and pepper to your taste and grab some bowls and enjoy with your family. You can even hear how excited my dad is. Enjoy! Okay, let's eat. Okay. Hey, okay, what's right. for dinner? Oh, some bok choy soup. You want some? Yes, I do. But right. first, let me set the mood. Whoa. I usually really like a noir. Well, I like it dreamy. What? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I really like it in an action movie. Whoa. Whoa. I like this. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I like this. Whoa. Yeah. I really like this too. Right, let's well, let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Carrots and the corn, mm -hmm. the way it mashes together, the bok choy together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely oh, yeah, lush, luscious. It's like childhood uh, right here. Yeah. <laughs> We're I'm eating this. Mm -hmm. I love you every, yeah. every other week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Well, hope you guys enjoy it. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy it. Bye bye. Have a good evening.